you know, uh, talk to anyone I've ever been in a, a romantic relationship with, and they will certainly all concur that um, wrestling at times interfered with my attention to other things. Wow. So, like, you're on a date or something like that, and then wrestling came on, you're like, look, honey, I got to drop know, you off? <laughs> now, now that you bring that up, I remember I was at um, WrestleMania 34. And I went on one of those dating sites and um, I met this woman for drinks, like in the afternoon. And then the Hall of Fame was that night. And it was, oh, I'll meet you after the Hall of Fame. And, you know, so now we're, we're supposed to have a date. And I remember the Hall of Fame was going on much longer than I expected it to. So at a certain stage, she's texting me and I cut out of the Hall of Fame because I didn't want to just blow off the date. And I go to this bar and she's running late, but I'm watching the Hall of Fame on my phone and Jeff Jarrett was being inducted and I was really into it. And then suddenly I feel, you know, a hand tap me on the back and it's this woman who's all dolled up and she looks great sitting behind me. And my first thought was like, shit, now I'm going to miss Jeff Jarrett's induction. <laughs> oh my God. Well, if I may add, my first marriage, uh, my wife wanted to get married on, I believe, WrestleMania six, Hogan Warrior. And then we had our honeymoon. I was in the military at the time. I said, look, we should just put it on another date, right? Because, you know, we went justice at a piece, whatever it was. Right. But she had to get married that day. And I said, understand, when this wedding ends, I'm going to hang out to watch WrestleMania six, <laughs> And I did. But I got to tell you, the more and more I think about it, probably not the right thing to do. Probably not the right thing to do, although it may have been the perfect honeymoon night, the perfect wedding night activity in terms of the long-term pleasure you derived from it. Yeah, but you see, I didn't get it because I was a Hogan fan, so I came out of that miserable, so it was, yeah, so, it was so a bad it night. Like, yeah, and then that set the tone for the rest of your marriage. <laughs> exactly. That's why we're divorced. There you go. Keith, right. well done. So your marriage would be symbolized by the ultimate warrior winning the championship. There you go, man. You hit it right on the head. Listen, before we go 